AI is now making decisions about how we eat, how we sleep, and how we take care of our bodies. Not in the distant future. Right now. What used to be simple advice from a personal trainer or a doctor is now being handled by algorithms. These systems are analyzing how our bodies behave and suggesting what to do next. That might sound helpful or maybe even a little strange depending on how you look at it, but this is where things are heading. Quietly and quickly. For a long time, health advice has always sounded the same. Eat healthy. Get more sleep. Exercise regularly. Avoid sugar. Stay hydrated. We've all heard it. It sounds reasonable, but it's also very general. That kind of advice doesn't really consider how different people are. What works for one person might do nothing for someone else. You might try the same exact meal plan or workout as someone you know and still feel like you're not getting the same results. That can be frustrating, but it's not your fault. It's the system. Artificial intelligence is beginning to solve that problem. It works differently because it doesn't just look at averages, it looks at you. It pays attention to how your body reacts, how you sleep, what you eat, how you move, and what your habits are like. Instead of telling you what's good in general, it tells you what's good for you. It does this by reading your personal data and identifying patterns. This is the kind of analysis that would take a human expert hours to do, if not more but an AI system can do it constantly and in real time. This is possible because of the amount of data we're creating every day. Fitness trackers, health apps, smart watches, and even phones are constantly collecting information about our bodies. They're tracking heart rate, activity levels, sleep quality, stress, temperature, and more. For most people, that just looks like a bunch of numbers. But for AI, it's the raw material it needs to make decisions. It looks at your patterns and spots connections that you wouldn't normally notice. For example, let's say every time you eat a large meal late at night, your sleep score drops. You might not link those things together, but the AI will. Over time, it sees the pattern and adjusts its recommendations. It might suggest eating earlier or swapping a heavy dinner for something lighter. You don't have to figure all of this out on your own. The system guides you based on what it has learned about you. One of the tools doing this is a fitness band called the WHOOP 5.0. Unlike other trackers, it doesn't just count your steps. It looks at your heart rate variability, your breathing, your recovery, and how well you slept the night before. It doesn't just wake you up with an alarm. It tracks your sleep cycles and wakes you at the moment when your body is least likely to feel groggy. When you combine this with artificial intelligence, it becomes more than just a tracker. It becomes a system that recommends what kind of workout to do, whether you should push harder or take it easy, and what kind of nutrition might support your recovery best. There's also the Aura Ring. It looks like a piece of jewelry, but it's filled with sensors. It monitors your readiness to exercise, how you're sleeping, and even subtle changes in body temperature. The idea is to track your condition without making you feel like you're wearing bulky equipment. And when you connect that data to a personalized nutrition app, it becomes even more useful. If your sleep was poor, the app might suggest avoiding caffeine in the morning. If your readiness score is high, it might tell you to have more protein to support your training. The key point here is that the advice changes depending on how your body is doing. It isn't a fixed routine. It adapts. Some days the system might tell you to go for a long workout and eat a higher amount of carbohydrates. On other days it might recommend more rest and lighter meals. This creates a more flexible approach to health. Instead of forcing your body to stick to a rigid plan, you respond to what it needs that day. Artificial intelligence can even look at specific nutrients. It can tell if your meals are too low in fiber or if you're not getting enough magnesium or omega-3 fatty acids. Most of us wouldn't know that unless we were tracking every single thing we eat and then doing hours of research. But AI can look at your food logs and tell you what's missing. It might recommend adding a few foods that are high in those nutrients. That means fewer gaps in your diet and fewer random supplements that you may not actually need. Some apps are making it even easier by reducing the effort it takes to track your food. Macrosnap, for example, allows you to take a photo of your meal, and the AI tries to estimate the nutrition content. 
It gives you calories, protein, fat, and carbohydrates based on the image. Is it perfect? But it saves time and gives you a good estimate without needing to enter everything manually. Another tool is Healthify Me, which uses an AI assistant named Rhea. This is a virtual coach that helps you build and adjust your diet plan. Rhea looks at your goals, your food habits, and your activity level. Then it gives you suggestions that change as your routine changes. If you decide to eat out, Rhea can help you choose better options. If you're missing nutrients, Rhea might recommend meals that balance your intake. It's not a rigid plan. It changes based on your lifestyle. There's also Eat Love. This is a more structured app that helps people with specific dietary needs. Whether you're vegetarian, managing diabetes, or dealing with food allergies, it builds a plan that fits your needs. It includes recipes, shopping lists, and suggestions for every meal, but the real value is in how it learns your preferences over time. It doesn't just build a static menu. It gets better at choosing meals that fit your tastes and goals the more you use it. If you're thinking of trying any of this, the best advice is to start simple. You don't need to learn every function of every app. You could begin by checking your sleep data every morning, or you could let one of the apps suggest a meal based on your recovery or activity level. Over time, you'll get more comfortable with the process. What matters is staying consistent. These systems work best when they have more data. The more they learn about your patterns, the more useful they become. Another exciting development to watch out for is in gut health. Your gut has a massive impact on how you digest food, how strong your immune system is, and even how you feel mentally. Scientists are now using artificial intelligence to study the bacteria in your gut and suggest foods that support a better balance. These suggestions are based on research, not just popular trends. A recent study showed that diets shaped by AI can improve gut health in a meaningful way. At the end of the day, this technology is here to make better health decisions easier. It's not about becoming perfect or following a plan with no flexibility. It's about having a clearer picture of what's going on inside your body so you can respond in a way that actually makes sense for you. You don't need to know everything. You just need to be open to learning from your own data. AI won't make your meals or fix all your habits overnight but it can give you the knowledge you need to make more informed choices. And that kind of support is something most people have never had before. What do you think about using AI for personalized nutrition and health? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're there.